It is already an accomplishment to get accepted into nursing school, but you're about to meet one Connecticut woman who is now the first ever paraplegic nursing student accepted at UConn. Fox 61's Margot Farrell shows us how this young woman is rolling past one obstacle after another. Walk us through what happened and, and how you got injured and, and really that journey to where you are now. I can't walk, so I'll roll you through. <laughs> <laughs> An infectious laugh. <laughs> Please air that and an even more contagious positive attitude. Just some of the things you'll notice right off the bat when you meet 28-year-old Lindsay Runkle. In late 2014, I was in a mountain biking accident. For this extreme athlete, I remember them loading me into the helicopter, giving me more morphine. Don't remember the helicopter ride at all. She was used to living on the edge, <laughs> but wasn't prepared for what happened on that fateful ride. I broke my back and I was left paralyzed and wheelchair bound. A young woman with her whole life still ahead of her forced to readjust some of the goals she'd set for herself long before ever becoming paralyzed. I always wanted to pursue nursing even before I was injured. And today, In the get. she's doing just that. I hesitated to even put on my application that I was in a wheelchair. But she did. And she's now the first ever paraplegic nursing student at UConn, currently doing her clinical rotation at Stanford Hospital. She met the academic standards to, um, to enter the program and we met with her. Part of a process of figuring out what we needed to do with Lindsay for Lindsay and we really have found that she's actually needed very little in the way of accommodations. And it turns out when they put Lindsay in a simulation lab, she was more than capable of performing what's expected of a nurse. Things like hanging IV meds, palpating the patient, and taking vitals. Lindsay can do all of those things from her wheelchair, and she is actually quite adept at the skills that are needed uh, to be a nurse. The things that I can't do alone are things that somebody who is standing up probably couldn't do alone. Uh, like turning patients. I met Lindsay in early January. She has amazed me right from the beginning. She's been an inspiration to us, faculty, and also to the other students. She comes across just that she can handle anything that's, just, that's put in her way. I think the biggest surprise is that nobody has not wanted me to work with them because I'm in a wheelchair. They've had patients who are in wheelchairs themselves, or I've talked to family members who have gotten you know bad news and they wonder how to keep going Good. and how I've kept going and it kind of helps bring some positivity to them and that's what she does she keeps going but there might be adaptations but there aren't limitations she's even gotten back on her bike I still mountain bike on the same bike that I broke my back on I've put a motor on that and a bucket seat I'm such a strong advocate for getting out and doing what you love and finding a way to do it. Proving every single day she's ready to roll with what comes her way. She is going to be a great nurse and we're very proud that she will be a Yukon nurse. Life continues to move whether you move with it or not and it's so much easier to just learn how to adapt than it is to try to resist it because we can't always change our situation, but we can change our mindset. In Stanford, I'm Margot Farrell, Fox 61 News. Wow, Lindsay, you're amazing. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Still ahead.